Check. Yes, can you make that? Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
fifth grade continuation at Dr. Justina Corey Elementary.
You won't always be top dog. In fact, sometimes you'll be in the doghouse. Dust yourself off, get back in the saddle. If you keep a cool head and use some elbow grease, you can blaze your own trail and march to the beat of a different drummer. Always keep your eye on the prize. And you might just get a caught once in a while. If not, there's always time to start from scratch and turn the page on the past. It's okay to have a change of heart, and it's only natural to make counts out of both hills once in a while. You may still be on pins and needles sometimes, and the grass will seem cleaner on the other side. But your friends will bend over backwards for you, and soon you'll be rolling in the clover. When you have all your ducks in a row and decide to take the high road, you'll spread your wings and fly. In traders, I want you to always reach for the stars. You can do it. Thank you.
Since the first day of school in fifth grade, my teacher, Ms. Penn, has been nice and encouraging and supportive. I'm really glad I got her as a teacher. I switched schools in fourth going into fifth grade, not having any friends. At this new school, I thought I would have no friends for a month or two, but it turns out I made friends in school. And that is one of the things I love about Ford's kids and the staff. They're all so friendly to you. In the school year, it was a challenge for me. Learning new subjects and algorithms, there were times where I wanted to give up, but my teacher did it. That's what I love about this time. She's not a player. This has been a journey, and there are memories I will never forget. I'm glad I spent my fifth grade year at Dr. Justina Ford Elementary, and I'm also glad that I got to spend it with these amazing fifth graders. Thank you for all coming out this morning and supporting us. I hope you all have a great time. Um, most of these students know I'm a pretty straight shooter, 
someone always tells the truth. I like to tell them a little secret of mine that I actually am, in fact, Superman. Um, I tell them about my Transformer Rammer. He lives on the roof of the gym. Uh, we have a magic hula hoop. Every time I throw it, it just magically comes back to me. And we actually have a magic iPad that picks for the groups for us. I don't hit a button at all. Um, so trust me when I say, don't go. Don't go to middle school. Stay here for it. Um, I actually hear the uh, middle school is haunted. Uh, eighth graders love stuffing sixth graders into lockers. Um, the teachers, they're actually brain eating zombies. And don't even get me started on high school, so just don't go. Just stay here. Okay? Um, but the real truth is how amazing this fifth grade class is. The challenges they face coming to a new school this year have definitely prepared them for middle school and beyond. This group has shown love for learning from um, and each from the very start of the year. I only know how they will crush middle school, but not only crush that, they will crush whatever they decide moving forward. But just as um, I just ask that you come back and visit the one person that helped you make this all possible. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Oh, 
those skills to become our future eco architects and inventors and engineers. Some of you are athletes, risking and sustaining physical injury to make a play. <laughs> your grit and your perseverance will take you so far and it will help you face any challenges in the future. But all of you are world builders. You've been an integral part of shaping the character of this school. Ford will always be better because of your presence here. You are leaders. You volunteered your time to help with bus duty. You walked kindergartners out there to make out the right buses. You volunteered to run the store day for second graders and first graders. And you're so kind of us. As Mr. DeMarco mentioned, so many of you volunteered your time yesterday to help those little guys have the best field day ever. You even helped clean the cafeteria, which I cannot forget to mention. <laughs> Um, middle school is going to bring you so many new challenges, but it's nothing you can't handle. Each of you came to this school when it was brand new. You met brand new teachers, you met brand new friends. You mastered a huge new building. You forged, excuse me, forged lasting friendships with strangers. You built a community together. You're ready for this transition. Remember to lean on your community next year if things get tough. We love you guys so much. We're so proud of you. And we love you.